From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Here is the latest fall colors from Explore Fall. You'll notice the Midlands low color. So if you have been traveling, probably have noticed those trees are starting to change. But if you look a little bit more towards the mountains of North Carolina, Tennessee, and parts of Virginia, have a little bit of peak color. So certainly a good time to go visit the mountains as those leaves continue to change. We continue to push through the rest of October and looking ahead towards the next couple of holidays, Halloween, six days away, daylight saving ends, not necessarily a holiday, but something we all have to kind of deal with 11 days from today. And Thanksgiving is four weeks from tomorrow or 29 days away. We've had some cool mornings, especially yesterday. Yesterday we dropped all the way down to 39 degrees. That was the first time we've been in the 30s, at least at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport so far this season. We did hit 74 degrees yesterday afternoon, and that is average for this point in October. Haven't had any rain since Friday, October the 20th, when we picked up nine hundredths of an inch. Record's going to be safe today, 88, 30, and back in 1977. A lot of rain fell 46 years ago. Here are some of the weather headlines we're following. Mainly sunny, basically through the rest of the week. Temperatures warming and not expecting any kind of rainfall. High pressure in control of our weather. That's going to be the case today. Matter of fact, that's going to be the case over the next several days. As of right now, no rain in the seven day. Looks like it's going to be dry even as we go into the eight to nine day period. We certainly could use a little bit of rainfall, but again, things are going to remain dry. A few more clouds will be possible. On your Thursday, some clouds on Friday as well. Temperatures will be warming up too. Check out this rainfall forecast from the Weather Prediction Center. Normally we'll have at least a trace. There's nothing right now. So dry conditions. European model shows that dry conditions. Thursday through Tuesday, American model showing the same thing. Very dry weather. As we mentioned, could use a little bit of rain, but Looks like it's going to remain dry. High temperatures day, mid to upper 70s, a little bit of a breeze coming out of the east at about five miles per hour. Partly cloudy tonight, probably a little milder with these lows dropping down into the mid to lower 50s. Upper 70s to near 80 degrees tomorrow, low 80s on Friday. Looking ahead towards the weekend, last weekend of October 2023. Highs in the low to mid 80s, low 80s on Monday. And just in time for Halloween, it cools off a little bit with temperatures topping off right around 70 degrees. Coastal forecast weekends looking good with those highs in the upper 70s. Upstate for the weekend we will go eh, basically the low 80s with a good bit of sunshine once again. Looking a little bit ahead, our this is a six to 10 day forecast, probably cooler than normal conditions for us here for the majority of the Palmetto State. And then kind of looking ahead in the eight to 14 day temperature outlook, looks like cooler than normal conditions, but you'll notice chance we could have some wetter than normal conditions. So looks like there's a possibility for some rain, but then as we look ahead in the three to four weeks, warmer than normal conditions, Good news is it looks like we may be slightly wetter than normal in that three to four day or three to four week outlook. So certainly could use some rain. Don't want to see this. This is Hurricane Tammy. Now a category two storm is forecast to weaken. It's going to kind of meander out here. But look very closely. You can see Bermuda within that cone of uncertainty. Once we get rid of Tammy, there's no other tropical activity expected over the next seven days, but it has been a very busy hurricane season. On average, at this point in October, we would expect 13 named storms, six hurricanes, two major hurricanes. So far, we've had 20 storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. And here are all those tracks for the 2023 Atlantic season. Keep in mind, hurricane season continues, at least officially, until November the 30th.